In this video, I will be going over how I consistently make profit using hiking ashy candlesticks. Watch this live trading to understand the thought process behind how I consistently make profit using this particular trading strategy. The platform I will be using is Think or Swim. And I will be using their paper trading feature. If you haven't already done so, take a moment to subscribe to this channel so you can get similar content that can help you on your trading journey. I'd also appreciate a like. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this black section shows the start of a trading day. To the left, I have a one minute chart and to the right, I have a one minute chart, but the candles are hiking ashy candles. Usually you can find your hiking ashy candles by going to your toolbar, clicking on it. And basically it shows you the different kinds of representation you can have your charts in. You could have it in a line chart, an area chart, or in hiking ashy candlesticks. Even though the hiking ashy candlesticks look similar to the uh, regular candlestick, the difference is in their interpretation. A red candlestick shows that the trend is downwards. A wick at the bottom of the candlestick shows that the trend downwards is a strong trend. If we have multiple red candlesticks, then it shows that the downward trend is ongoing. Once we get a doji-like red candlestick, or maybe even a doji-like green candlestick, it shows that end of a trend is imminent. So the next thing we want to look out for will be the green candlestick with the tall wicks at the top of them. Once we identify multiple of such candlesticks over a set period, then that would be a good indication to enter into a trade. Of course, you would need to confirm this against other features. And on this chart, I have three moving averages. The green, which is the three EMA, the purple, which is the eight EMA, and the yellow, which is the 20 EMA. So right now, price action is trending downwards, as well as the fact that price action is below all three moving averages. It will be mere suicide to decide to enter into uh, a position at this point because you will immediately register a loss. We have death crosses on all three moving averages, as well as price action being below all the three averages. So we just want to keep an eye on this and wait until we see a reversal and a change in trend. At the bottom of the chart, I also have my MACD, my 50 day volume average, as well as my RSI. And we have a doji candlestick forming to the right, which shows a halting of the downward trend and an attempt to reverse. Probably the greatest attribute you need to be a successful trader is patience. Okay, looking at the charts to the right, we had an attempt at a reversal indicated by the green doji candlestick, but that attempt did not succeed. And so the downward trend continues. Okay, so our moving averages are reversing or at least attempting to reverse. Now it's necessary for price action also to move back up above the VWAP, which is the dotted purple line. Looking at the hiking ashy candlesticks, we're still waiting to see green hiking ashy candlesticks with only upper wicks as is developing right now. And we also see price action uh, breaking above 
the VWAP. So that again is a good sign. We see our moving averages all crossed back up again. So all I would wait for would be a second one minute candle to close above the VWAP and then I'll enter into this trade. So I'm looking at my regular candlesticks to the left and I'm checking my Heiken Ashi candlesticks to the right to ascertain that the trend is still upwards. So this is our second candlestick and it's important to wait until it closes. It has to close above VWAP. Now, if it reverses and ends up closing down below VWAP, of course, that would be a failed breakout. To the right, our hiking ashes are showing a nice upward trend. And to the left, we have our regular candlesticks showing good upward price action. We just want to be patient and wait for that second candlestick to actually close. So I'm going to have my mouse hovering over the buy market there. So now I've picked up 10 shares and I'm hoping that I'm going to have a strong upward movement. And you can see that indicated by the, look at the length of these candlesticks. We didn't have such long candlesticks prior to the breakout above VWAP. Looking to the right at our hike in ashes, we still see these long top wicks. This bottom wick development is not a good sign, but let's keep an eye on it. Our profit and loss so far is a negative $21.50. We've got to be patient. The next point I would be interested in is a break above the high of the day. And that has just occurred. Now we need that to close above the high of the day. These are all roadmaps that confirm the upward trend. The longer the trend, the more the profit. Now our profit has changed from a negative $21 to a positive $17, $30. Okay, let's keep going. For as long as our hiking ashy candlesticks are showing a long green body and a long upper wick, then we're good. We've also broken above the, the high of the day. That's a second check in our favor. Our profit and loss is looking good. We're up $30. So once you're in a trade, the next thing you want to do is you always want to set your stop loss. Always want to set your stop loss. If you have a platform that uh, has a trailing stop feature, then that also is an option to make sure that you maintain your profits in the event that price action reverses against you. Our hiking Ashi gives us that confidence that the trend is still going our way because we have these beautiful long bodies as well as the, the long upper wicks. Okay, so the candlesticks to the right, the Heiken Hashi candlesticks, we can see there's uh, something going on here uh, on account of that big red candlestick to the left. But the other thing you can do is to check your Heiken Hashi on the on a high up level. And it does not represent the small changes because this is now a five minute candlestick. So when we look at it, we see as far as the five minute candlestick goes, the trend is still going well. Looking at it on the one minute, it shows those little interferences, the ups, the downs. That's not much to fuss about, but it just depends on what you're trying to do with your trade. PNL has gone back down again, which is to be expected in your trades because that's what the market does best. Price action goes up and then it comes down. 
or even when price action is trending in one direction, it will take breathers where it will look like the trend is reversing, but instead of it being a full blown reversal, it's just a mere retracement. And so if we look at the one minute Heiken Ashi, we may feel there's cause for concern because of this three minute retracement. But if we check on the higher up level, the five minute, we see it doesn't seem to bother it on the five minute level. So it's important to be able to weather these retracements sometimes and to be able to identify whether it's a full blown reversal or just a temporary retracement. Again, looking to the left chart, we see a bunch of red candlesticks. But looking on the right hand side, we see no cause for alarm because the trend is still uh, upward, which is shown perfectly on the larger time frame. After 40 minutes of being in this trade, we finally see a hiking ashy candlestick indicating that there could be an imminent reversal of trend. As also indicated by this big red candlestick and a death cross on these two moving averages. Okay, and there's the red and it's time to get out of the trade because I want to keep my profits. So I'm going to exit at this point. And so we have here a total PL for the day of $121.50. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, the only thing I ask is that you hit that like button, comment below, because I do use your comments to better inform me of what other content to create. Share with your friends and family. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get my videos as soon as I upload them and I'll meet you in the next video. And the reason why I could stay in this trade this long is on account of the one and five minute hike in ashy candlesticks. After about 40 minutes in the trade, we see this hike in ashy candle as also indicated by this, by this, as also indicated by this big red candlestick and across and a death cross on the two and a death cross on these two moving averages okay and there's the red and it's time to get out of the trade because i want to keep my profits so i'm going to exit at this point and there we have it we exited the trade for a grand total of 121 dollars and 50 cents thanks to the hiking ashy candlestick patterns and so we and so we have here a total and so we have here a total pnl for the day of 121 dollars and 50